What's up everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to the $10,000 EIDL Grant Stimulus Update. Breaking news, it is Friday, TGIF, January the 8th, 2021. Please do me a huge favor, give this video a thumbs up, hashtag EIDL in your comments below, copy and paste the exact title and share this video all over social media. And if you'd like to be one of 20 people that are gonna win 500 bucks in cold hard cash, when I give away my entire $10,000 EIDL grant, I ask that you please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the PPP goes live on Monday. I highly suggest you talk to JJ, the CPA, and guys like Max Maher. Those are two of the brightest minds in all of YouTube with respect to the PPP. Again, it starts on Monday. Be sure to reach out to them. Tell them I sent you. All right. I have waited 10 long months to say the following words. And as many of you know, on the community wall last night, somewhere around three or four o'clock in the afternoon, East Coast time. Ms. Javita Carranza, current head of the SBA, has been fired, let go, terminated, call it what you will. She is no longer gonna be serving at the behest of you folks within the next two weeks. She is gonna be replaced by Miss Isabel Guzman of California. And just go to her Twitter page. She's got 1,200 followers. Her middle name must be Modesty. And if you've seen the press coverage this morning, including from her former boss, Ms. Karen Mills, who I've pinned in the comments for the last three weeks, they couldn't have picked a better person. A champion of minorities. The small guy and gal in this country. The days of the fat cats, the top 1% of which Ms. Carranza represented in this greatest transfer of wealth, as the rich got richer and the PPP fat cats stuck their hands in the cookie jar, we had people down the street from me buying a half a million dollars worth of jewelry in Atlanta with their money. Well, that's coming to an end. We finally have a champion who was employed under Karen Mills former head of the SBA under the Obama slash Biden administration, representing you and me. So whatever odds we had, yesterday it was 5%, that Ms. Carranza is going to play games, I think it's got to be down to one. Because even if she does, that mess is going to be cleaned up in about two or three weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, let me translate in simple terms what this means to you and me. Despite, and again, it's all over again today, $1,000 per employee, my fucking ass it is. All these media outlets that are running with that, you know why? They're lazy. They don't dig. They don't sit there with this stuff, coffee, a little bit of honey, cream, till three o'clock in the morning on Zooms with friends of mine, many of whom are married and have businesses of their own going line by line, slowly but surely getting to the truth. And then with the help of lawyers like Vitaly, his videos are pinned in the top comment. The document from Ryder over at Skip, his video is still pinned in the top comment. You realize that holy shit, after many, many grueling hours, weeks, months of getting to the truth so you have a chance to get this money, it's not 20, it's not 40, it's $60 billion of EIDL grant money. 331 is low income. You got to have 300 employees or less. You got to show an economic loss of 30% or more. But 90% of you that are watching is Section 332. Totally separate. It strikes 20 billion from the original CARES Act, Section 1110, and replaces it with $40 billion. There is nowhere in the law that it says 1,000 per employee. All that bullshit is is people that are afraid. Many of them are thinking with their own pockets. But let me give you even another reason why you haven't heard anywhere else but here. We just had an election, didn't we? And it was brutal. But it looks like we're finally going to have a peaceful transfer of power. But do you think it would have went over so well? I live in Georgia. They were running commercials. Elect us. We'll get you $2,000 stimulus checks. Well, apparently it may have worked. But can you imagine the mainstream, or should I say lamestream media, running uh, uh, stories and commercials that gig workers and Uber drivers 
and many of you that are watching where your business has been demolished by as much as 80%, what if the media would have said you were getting 10 grand? When everybody else was stuck with a $600 tip, shit would have hit the fan, wouldn't it? That's why they kept it under wraps. They can't talk about Section 332, which has $40 billion, even though it's to get you what you were promised, the balance of 10 grand. Because it would not have went over well, right? A certain party would have, would have lost a shit ton of votes because the argument would have been leading into the election. Wait a second. I make $75,000 a year and I only got 600 bucks. How come this Uber driver is getting 10 grand? How come this lady that makes cookies out of her apartment who's got four kids? Our beautiful single moms, thousands of them in the comments. How come she's getting 10 grand and I'm only getting 600 bucks? Do you see why they kept that under wraps? So we're going to find out by law Monday at the latest. That's the 15-day mark. I think it's still going to be Sunday night when they go live with an email. 6 p.m. East Coast time. My opinion is 90% of you won't have to do much of it all. There's going to be an email. Stay tuned for a warning regarding that damn checkbox. But the vast majority of people that are going to have to go to SBA.gov, in my opinion, and I could be wrong, are going to be the Section 331 low-income people. They're going to have to fill out a form. They're obviously going to have to send in their bank statements to prove they've got two months of 2020 that dropped relative to 2019. But the vast majority of you, anyone who's already gotten a loan and or a grant, whether you got a part of the grant or none of the grant or all the grant, anyone who's already in the system, that's almost 6 million of you, 9 million applied, 6 million got a grant, 3 million got nothing, 3.7 million got a loan. Of those 6 million... I don't think you're going to have to do much of anything. I don't think it's going to be send this in, verify that. They already have access to your tax records as a result of this law. So yes, if you got a thousand, nine thousand more is on the way. If you got nothing because you applied when they ran out of money, ten thousand dollars is on the way. You have to be legit. You have to be real. And they may ask you if they have questions or doubts for incorporation papers or send us your bank statements. You got to prove that you're real. The only people, as I said yesterday and watched the video, that I'm concerned about a little bit now that Miss Guzman's in control is those that have below 570 for a long period of time. Middle to high income people, they may have had a million dollar house and they haven't been able to get up off their back for years. Those people are going to have trouble. But if you already are in the system, you're one of the 3.7 million who got a loan one of the almost six million that got a grant, I don't see you having a problem unless they smell a rat. And I'm telling you right now, they've got fraud detection like you wouldn't believe this time. So if they smell a rat, they're gonna ask you to clarify some things. And if you don't have the proof, don't go, in that, go, go, go down that aisle. Don't, don't try and bullshit your way to $10,000. Only get involved with the SBA in this go round if you're the real deal. So if you're one of the farmers in Chicago, who said you had a, uh, acres and acres of land when you were living in a 600 square foot apartment and you were absolutely full of shit, you better be careful. But if you're the real deal, I don't care if you're an Uber or a Lyft driver, hopefully you've got proof of employment, you know, your deposits, your, your tips, et cetera. You gotta be able to prove it. You shouldn't have a problem. And if you haven't heard the news to all the low, in, uh, the, uh, low credit folks below 570, as of two weeks ago, they haven't announced this yet. I think they're going to announce it in the next two weeks when Miss Guzman takes control. As of two weeks ago, when you're doing a loan reconsideration, if your credit was up here around 700, which is average, and you crashed below 570, you now can explain why you dropped. In the old days, and I helped over 200 people win in reconsideration, it was 570 or you were sh shit out of luck. Now there's two sentences in the reconsideration when the loan officer gets in touch with you. It says, while you fall below the normal threshold of X, Y, and Z, if you can explain why your credit score dropped in the midst of the pandemic, we may be able to reconsider your application. If they take the same philosophy forward to the grant, for all you people that were up here, then your city or town went into lockdown, then you lost half of your business, then you fell behind on your credit cards, your car payments, you're now able to explain that to get more loan money they may incorporate the same attitude with respect to the grant. So as I said about a week ago, if you can't tell, 
I won't rest until everyone who's legit gets their money. I am a wacko, a nut job, a fighter, a fucking warrior. I've been here for 10 months, and if I turn out to be wrong on a sliver of this information, I know that I left my heart and my soul on the field. So if you get pushed back, if they say we need to see some proof, relax. I will help you. I will give out another email address if necessary. We're going to make sure everybody gets their money, whatever it takes. Now for the warning. Any of you who were here the last time, remember the fiasco? You forgot to check the box and the SBA said, eh, that's not going to be a problem again. However, as I said in the video the other day, don't jump the gun. Give guys like me, Vitaly, Ryder over at Skip, JJ the CPA, you know the list, Rod Squad, Speak and See. Give all those folks a chance to agree on what the fine, fine print says. Because last time it said, check here if you'd like to be eligible for up to $10,000. Well, this time we ain't checking any boxes unless it says check here if you'd like to receive the full amount of $10,000 or the balance thereof. That's the only box we're going to check. So don't jump the gun. Wait until at least Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this coming week when we know what the rules are and we have the lawyers and all the brightest minds going through the damn thing to make sure there's no loopholes that are going to screw you in the end. So until next time. I appreciate you indulging me in my intensity. I'm an Aries alpha male, that's my middle name. And when I sense that something is wrong, I will fight to the death to make it right. And that's exactly what I've done. So until next time, I love each and every one of you, and thanks so much for watching.